the technology names yesterday again, late day sell off this rotation. I mean, is is 3M a better stock than Apple right now, just as an example? I'm not going to go out and limb and say that, Sully, but I know one of your favorite songs is Justin Timberlake's Bringing Sexy Back, but I want Justin Timberlake to think about oh. bringing boring back. And bringing boring back are these industrial names and this rotation trade. To your point, we did see it happen in September. We saw that selling pressure in some of these NASDAQ names. And now all of a sudden, a name like 3M, Archer Daniels, Dow Chemicals, Waste Management, as boring as they are, they're all up nearly about 10% year to date. And these are the names that you're seeing rotation into. So as I'm a manager of the Essential 40 portfolio, we believe in essential names. These are names that we deem critical to the U.S. economy and the American way of life. And what's going to happen, Sully, when we actually see some infrastructure spending go into some of these names? So we get really excited about these really boring names. Okay, but I, I, I can't stop the feeling of whether or not, oh, wow. Jeff, this is just a temp temporary rotation because what makes these industrials attractive? It can't just be that interest rates are where they are. Is it a global reflation trade? It's not, a, I mean, is 3M or, or Caterpillar reopening stock? What makes them attractive? Well, let's go back to Peter Lynch in the 1980s. This is Peter Lynch 2.0. These are stocks and companies that we believe the U.S. economy are really going to gravitate towards. And you see investors, the sentiment has changed. We go back to 2019, 2020, and we're not walking away from technology by no means, Sully. We still own Facebook. We still own the, the FANG stocks. We own them in an equal weighted manner. But the fact that we're seeing this rotation just in the initial couple innings, I think there's a lot of runway here. And you're going to see more and more assets get attracted to tangible names. Investors when you see the volatility that we saw in 2020, yes, they've been desensitized, but nonetheless, they want to own stocks. They're going to be in their portfolio and be able to produce alpha. And some of these names that forgot been forgotten about, no doubt about it. We saw some of these names get yep. absolutely thrown out in 2020. That's where they're coming back in vogue. And just okay. like those Doc Martens that used to rock in the 1990s, Doc Martens are back in vogue too, Sully. <laughs> Is there a short, quickly, 20 seconds, short-term trade? on oil stocks based on that situation in the Suez. A lot of crude oil is going to be stuck. It is, and it's 15% of the global traffic we're seeing stuck. So IEZ, that's the ETF, Schlumberger, Halliburton, uh, Baker Hughes, those make up about 50% of that ETF, IEZ. I like that exposure because we want to own oil exposure. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.